But uh, I wonder, Lieutenant Johnson, would you like to talk just a little bit about uh, the, the big picture and what's happening today, maybe things that you've seen, and then we can move to other law enforcement for some comments, please? Uh, sure. The changes that, have to, that are happening, that are occurring today, are things that have to change. We have to change the way we think. We have to change the way we approach juveniles, especially within the schools. We have to be able to give them some sort of outlet. Um, when you go into the schools, there are a lot of kids there. You get kids that are in situations that are in crisis and with different things going on within their homes. So when we approach those kids, we have to try to give them some sort of outlet, some sort of feeling that they matter and that we care from the law enforcement perspective. Because because of social media, social media puts everything out there, and these kids see, see things almost in real time. And they make a judgment on that. They make, they, a lot of times they'll make a judgment without even knowing their local law enforcement that are familiar with the school. And that's why I think it's important to get law enforcement within the schools so these children can meet us and see that we're real people, we're not robots, we, we're human, we, you know, we think, we feel, things of that sort. And to get them to understand that, hey, you know what, we're just as real as you are and we want to make a difference in your lives. We want you to be able to come here, get an education, and to get an education safely. But at the same time, we want you to understand what our jobs are and understand when it's necessary for us to do our jobs. What circumstances are going to be brought about that make us have to do our jobs. So it's a two-way street where we've got to communicate and be open ourselves as well as trying to get them to do the same. And I think once we're able to bridge some of those gaps and, and make some headway with some of the young people, then that's when we'll start to be able to affect change and we'll start to see change because it's going to boil down to a trust factor and yeah. being transparent.